Ooh, it says life. Done, okay. You've done lots of life. I am just, I'm trying to, I, you know what? I'm finding out why people do what they do. We come on a couple minutes early so that we can um, do our other Dumaflachis. My other Dumaflachis not on. Do I have to go out and come back in? I don't know. By the way, the other voice you hear in the background is my wonderful husband. He is helping me with this technology that I'm... Oh, there I am. Ooh, look. Oh, my stars and garters. You can see yourself. It's a delay. No, that's not good. I don't want to comment. <laughs> Oh, land sakes. Okay. I see me, but I'm paused and whatever. So it's a couple minutes. I can't see. One more minute. And um, I will begin in a few minutes to tell you just a tiny bit about myself. I have, um, uh, what do you call it? These are, I don't have to wear these except for when I'm reading. And so, you know what? It's so frustrating to have to put on the readers, take them off. Put them on, take them off. Eh, eh. And I don't want to look too ancient like that. <laughs> so, I, and then um, I gave away a headband, so now I don't have one. <laughs> okay. Oh, it feels weird to see me in two places. Oh, okay. It is six o'clock, y'all. Wow, it is six o'clock. Hello, my name is Teresa Bullman, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am located in East Tennessee. It's beautiful out here. Oh my goodness, the colors are so beautiful this year. And let's see, what else can I tell you about myself? I love to joke about. I don't I don't joke in a way that it, you know, on somebody else's behalf. I like to just have fun. The Bible tells us to make a, I was going to say make a joyful noise. I like to do that too. <laughs> but it says that um, laughter doeth is good medicine. Tara's translation. You can't buy it in any bookstore. <laughs> And so anyway, it's really exciting. It's fun. Um, I love to, I love to have fun. And I got into stamp making partially for that. Well, it's grown to that because originally I got into it to, um, I need to get my face out of there. <laughs> it's grown to be more, um, exciting. I've grown to be doing YouTube, um, uh, videos I do every Monday Wednesday and Friday well actually this is going to replace the YouTube on Mondays and I will post this will go on Mondays after the live so that will be Monday's uh, video today's um, video is based on a class that I'm starting and as soon as I get some help from my husband to uh, help me turn this thing. I have no idea. Let us see. Okay. Oopsie. Rotate your phone. No, no. 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 We, you're going to see my ceiling for a minute. And let's rotate that. There we go. Ta-da! It's a work in progress. And it's a work in progress. We're tightening things up. It doesn't matter that my hand's there. You know it's there, right? I'm not trying to be uh, unnoticeable. Okay, it's a little cloudy in here. Could you get that other lamp that's in there, in, in the room? 
the desk lamp. We came out here, and we, meaning me and my, the mouse in my pocket, instead of my office because the lighting was much better, but now the lighting is not much better. And I have no idea how to turn. Is there a... Huh, interesting. Oh, there it goes. You don't need it. It's a little bit better. Okay, how fun. I will attempt to stay in view. Let me see how much room I have. Okay, so my whole green thing is gonna be green, is gonna be there. Okay, you see here, this is Tibu's gumshoe card making class. It kind of flows into Tibu's investigative card making, yes? And uh, my husband created this, so thank you, Franz, for doing this for me. I greatly appreciate it. It looks so cute. This class is a free with purchase. It's $35 for three cards that you, three different designs, not three cards, three different designs, and you make two of each card. And so let me get with you on that and I'll talk a little bit. Let me move this out of the way because we're going to need this. Um, okay, so I have all my cards right here. I'm going to set them off to the side and we're going to start with apparently the top one. And um, the, the th thing about the this class with purchase is that the first amount is $35 and what you will get is everything to make the card twice, each card twice, okay? There are no embellishments, there's no ribbons, there's no nothing, because I didn't add ribbons to these and I didn't do twine with these. But um, if you order $50 or more, then I will give you the embellishments that, that I do go with, it, except for the, um, let me show you right quick. They are called Pearlized Enamel Effects. These will not be in there. I've used these a lot, but I also have the butterflies. Oh, the butterflies are so sweet. Oops, where are they? I love these butterflies. They're brushed brass butterflies, and I really, really like them. So, you will get a packet of these, and um, if you go, 50, if your order is $50 or more, and you need to go to my um, website, uh, which is Teresa, T E R E S A, dot stampin' up dot net, and I forgot to bring that over here so that you could see that. Honey, it's in my office. See, if I was in my office, we'd have everything. <laughs> we just brought the office out near or my craft room. Okay, let's start, let's start um, crafting. Ah, here we go. Let me put this down and you can have a screenshot of it. Hands out of the way. Give you about three seconds. Two, three, and one. Okay, taking that away. And um, actually, you know what? I'm not starting with the red one first. I'm going to go messy and then neat. How's that? <laughs> I like messy. I love it. We this, this technique, I have been doing it a couple of times on my YouTube channel. And I so love it. It is like my favorite thing to make. Okay. Let me show you the some of the pieces. These two are going to go together. And then your card base is here. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I need my boom folder. Here it is. Okay. This is the first card I made with the um, 
for this design. It's This is basically what you're getting. I ran out of this, but I will be getting more. Um, and I kind of like it on the white, but I don't know. I This is the one we're making today, kind of, with that, but it's on white. I'm sorry, no, it's not. Oopsie. Yes, it is, because we're not doing messy. Oh, fiddle. This is the one that I did in um, crud. I didn't um, cut white. I cut green instead. So we are doing this card. But um, this card is the one that's supposed to be in your, in your kit. Doggone. <laughs> Let's try that again. You know what? I have some, I can get some white card stock. Honey. <laughs> my honey is my honey do go and get thing because I said just in case I forget something and look what I did. It might be in the um, drawer, the sliding drawer, not the file. Okay, while we wait on him, let me show you how this will go together. Uh-oh, <laughs> something dropped. We went to the doctor today um, because we thought I broke my toe. And um, I bet you want to know how that happened. Guess what? I'm too embarrassed to tell you. <laughs> and uh, it was just, oh my goodness. I took some designer series paper and I cut that out with, I should, I guess, show you the, the stamp set that we're, two stamp sets we're working with today. These are Splendid Thoughts. Oh, and by the way, this class will run for four weeks. We will, I will, each week I will be doing a different class. It's for Christmas, I know. We're um, in October, but we're almost done with October. So November and December, yeah, it'd be probably, if you haven't done them already, make your cards by now. And whenever I do it, I'm always late. Always, always late. So this is the stamp set. It also has, um, I got something on there. Um, it also has framelits, which mine are all scattered about because the tape is not so good. Thank you, honey. Um... Let me grab my trimmer over here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I have a huge dining table. Well, to me, it's huge. So, anyway, this is a good opportunity to show you how to cut your cardstock. Now, if you're making this base, what I normally do is I score in the center. Hang on a minute. So, um, this is eight and a half by five and a half and I'm scoring at four and a quarter. So I just bring it over here and I line it up. I'm right on the line. Got to get that blade out of the way. I've done that. Believe me. So you just score it and then I cut it. And the reason I do it that way is because a lot of times I'm doing more than one card. And I don't want to just go to, you know, cut the base and have to score it. So now I've got one and I've got two card bases, okay? We are going to use one of these to cut my square <laughs> that I need. And that's this square, which is three and three-eighths square, okay? So... That was just to show you three and three eighths. I'm gonna have to do it this way. This is another idea when you make cards. See, you still have the score line. You could do something with that. I'm not gonna get rid of it. And three and three eighths square. So that was a good little lesson there, right? Okay, now, let me get this out of the way, and we are going to stamp. Now, out of, out of the Splendid Thoughts, it's a bundle, so you can save 10% uh, if you get it as a bundle, 
right now, okay? And while the catalog, uh, I think this is in the mini catalog. Yes, it is. And I don't have the catalogs with me because of course I forgot. But if you would like one, I'd be more than happy to send you one. Okay, the first thing, the things that we will need for this card are our soft, soft pastels assortment, Versamark, and the bold stamp that you want to do. I haven't done it with a lined stamp like, um, like this one. I've only done it with this one and this one. This one was the first one I learned it with. And then I got curious and did it with this one. So since I'm working with that this week, because I really, really love the stamp set. And you know what? You can turn it into a Christmas card. And I, and that's what I've done with these cards. I've turned, turned them into a Christmas card, like the one that I showed you a second ago. I love this because there's a song that pops in my head every time I, I uh, see that. And then I did it again in the um, Fresh Freesia. Okay, so let me show you. We're going to try to stick to the colors. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's set this aside. I'm putting everything on top of my scoreboard, which we're going to need pretty soon. So, oopsie. Um... I hope not because hopefully I've scored everything. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure though that your ink pad, your your Versamark is really well ink. I've the reason being is because you want to be able to see it. Now I don't really believe that you're going to be able to see this while I'm doing it um, right now. So just make sure though that you do not overlap the stamp okay a lot of times when we make our own dsp our designer series paper we overlap this you do not want to overlap um, oops yeah i got something on there i don't want to stamp on and you can rotate your stamp i'm rotating the paper but I am going to rotate the stamp on my next two. And hopefully I didn't land. Yes. It's easier for me to move the paper as well as my stamp. And that's it. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Okay, so. Versamark stays sticky for a while, or wet, I guess, for a while. And yes, I store it upside down like I do all my, like my black ink, everything I, I store it upside down. I'm not going to need that right now. So, we have Old Olive and we have Mossy Meadow. And, um, hmm, I'm going to stick with the three that I've been doing lately because I like them. I do love Gorgeous Grape. But um, because it's my favorite color. But I'm really liking this springy look because it's getting winter outside. And I don't, I'm not a fan of winter. Okay, so all you're going to do is make sure that your bottom is flat. So whichever side is flatter, this chipped off a little bit. That's still okay because I've used it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. No, I haven't used it. Well, we'll see. So I'm going to... Take the, um, this is Bermuda Bay. And I'm actually going to go into the next portion. Oopsie, I went too far. That's all right. No biggie, because you know what? You can go over the, what you already went over. So... And then I'm going to have a small sky like, which is the Knight of Navy. Oh, I know what I did. That's okay. This is not going to be like the one that I made. 
because I made it with Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. And this time it's different. It's okay because it is different. Now I had some old sponges. Um, this one came from a paper pumpkin that I had. And all you need to do, you can use, you can use your um, blending brushes. You can use um, your, um, yeah, those ones that stick on your thumb. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called. Oh my gosh. Seriously? <laughs> Look at that. See, it didn't matter that I, I um, went over. It still looks good. Basically, what you're doing is you're just taking off the access of this, um, of the chalk of your soft pastels. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to take this away for a second, move this out of the way and cover it. Not that it needs to be covered. I'm setting this aside. We're not using it anymore. And I didn't have a wet paper towel to clean my hands. Maybe my husband will be kind enough to grab me one. Mm -hmm. A wet paper towel. I'm not throwing this on the floor. There's a dumpster right next to me. So we're doing that. <laughs> what is this? Uh -huh. It's the floor. It's the <laughs> Yeah, no. It's not, let me tell you. Okay, so before I stamp, I want to put this on my thank you. Nope, the whole Wet and dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wet and dry. So smart. I tell you what, I'm so glad I married him. He's got the brains in the family. I think of things that don't matter, and he thinks of all the other stuff that do matter. Okay, I'll set that over there. My hands are kind of sort of okay. Rubbing them on my pants anyway. Set that aside so I don't forget. Okay, so let's adhere this. Now, if you look at this card, I did put dimensionals on, the, on, on this. So first, though, I am going to put this on with our multi- purpose glue. Everybody calls it the green glue because it comes in a container like this. This one has glue in it, but I don't know. I like this one mostly because I can see how much I have left. This one I really can't and I'm forever going like this and I still do that with this, but at least I know there's there's glue in there. And it, it's great for um, when you have to get into intricate things. go. <laughs> so, just out of curiosity, what are you all up to? And are you enjoying this card? I hope that when you make this card, you will have a blast. And you'll, it's taking me a bit not to um, make it again. <laughs> I really like this technique. It's like really fun. Oops, I don't want to get on the chalk. I'm just, just trying to wipe away the, the wet glue. Okay, so oops, don't want to set that aside. We want that. And I'm going to put dimensionals on it. And I want to show you something that I forgot to bring too. So I'll use my red <clears throat> Sharpie permanent marker, right? I usually, usually do this with black. It doesn't matter. Usually, And I usually use the big fat ones. But I just take my marker and, and bring it down. You don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, just that every dimensional gets a line, right? So when you... Um, go to peel off the backings and you think, did I get them all? Okay. Most of them. Most of them are on there. I learned this technique from Liz Yule of Yule Stamp, uh, Stable, Yule's Stables Craft. I, can't remember. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that that's right. So just Liz Yule, U-I-L-L-E, I think. Well, this one, 
I'm sorry about that. Somebody called in even though we silenced my phone. Hmm. And the light went out. There we go. It's a little dark on one side and I'll try to stay to the right because you can see a little bit better. Yay! Okay, so I know that I took them all off because the red um, is off. And you know another way you can tell is it's shinier when the when the um, paper is off. See? Much shinier. Okay, so because I want it to be like a sky thing, I'm going to center it to the top. And then I'm going to take my stamp from Hope and Peace. I love the stamp set. This is really an awesome stamp set. Excuse me for that. Um, and I'm going to, I am going to stamp the Emmanuel God with us. Because I just love that. And I will get... We know that's crooked. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. So I'm using um, Evening Evergreen. Oh, and that's the color. Uh, no, Evening Evergreen. Is that? That is not the color. That's Mossy Meadow. And I brought that out too. But I love Evening Evergreen. It's beautiful. By the way, I learned something. I learned a technique from somebody. Guess what? We're going to have to use Evening Evergreen because I don't know why my stamp is is not... It looks like it got dried out or something. So, it's okay. We'll use Evening Evergreen. But I learned something just recently about you know, putting your stamp on here. I've noticed in my class, they try to do really well on on not smushy smushy, because I always say, don't smushy smushy. You'll get the, the you know, the, the ink all the way around. See how that inked up really well? Well, all you have to do, according to the person that I listened to, and I can't remember her name, she says, that's it. That's all the pressure you have to put on here. And then you just want to tap lightly on there, okay? I've heard um, Connie Stewart say, um, kiss the bunny. And I'll get hair all in my mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, that is interesting. <laughs> now, I am going to embellish it with, um, we'll do that last. We'll do the embellishing last. We need to put our planter in because I'm giving somebody a plant for Christmas, right? So, ooh, I like that page. Ooh, I'm going that way. Yes, I am. So, again, with the glue dots, as soon as I find out, oh, here they are, what I did with them. I'm just going to put a little bit here and there, everywhere, all the way around. There, not all the way around. I'm gonna stick this on here. Usually, I put the um, the glue down glue dot down first, but a uh, glue dot the plants down first. But this time, I'm gonna do it differently. Okay, so. I cut out all these pieces. Ugh. That one doesn't want to cooperate. I'm just putting them about so you can see them. The different ones. These are all the different ones. And they are from Evening Evergreen. And I really like that, um, that color. 
I am going to clean off my stamp because I will get it on something else. And I don't want to do that. So, here we go. All right. Okay, so, I, you know what I was thinking? Hmm. Oh, and I also cut out these two pieces. I wanted to do something to make that there stand out a little bit. Now, when you get your kit, you're going, um, you'll get the the uh, the pieces to cut out um, the three that I have in here. It'll be base white, and then you have to stamp it yourself and all that, and cut it out. I'm not saying because it's with the bundle, you can cut it out when you order it. So um, I'm not cutting them out. This is all from the Splendid Thoughts bundle. And you can pick and choose how you do it. It's really cool. So I am definitely going to lay this down first. I like it too. You'll find, if you watch me enough, that I really enjoy the glue. I, I like the glue because... It covers up my mistakes. <laughs> kind of, sort of, oopsie, we need to bring this, I'm going to tear that off because guess what, I didn't bring my scissors. to bring that leaf on top. Then I'm going to take this one and base Oh, look, I offset it. Boy, I'm getting smarter by the second. <laughs> and I am going to prop that up on dimensions. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to use a couple of them. I believe, yes. Whoops. <laughs> the dimensional cover did not want to leave me. Oopsie. Well, that may not have been a bright idea. I'll cut this off too, or tear this off actually. I don't have much strength in my hands, so it's a little hard for me to tear things. Making sure I'm not putting dimensionals in places that I don't want. And then, where's that other piece? There it is. I'm going to lay this one down. like that and I'm just going to glue it down. I have a bit more pieces on this one. You, on the other one I only used three. So, but because I'm using that bold green one, the evening evergreen, I'm going to use another I'm going to use two more. to take away from the other piece there. I think that we are going to stick to three. But they're all mold pieces, so this is different, you know. Every, every card is never the same. I don't care if you try to copy the same card, it's never going to be the same. Because you'll see something different, and that's your creativity coming into light. So, okay, now we're going to put the dimensional, I'm uh, dimensionals. 
we're going to put the um, uh, butterflies on. And I had one butterfly over here. I don't know why, but... Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, I don't know why, but it doesn't like to um, pick up the big ones for some reason. Okay, there we... Oopsie. I dropped it in flight, in mid-flight. see its spot. Okay, that's that card. And that's this card. Yay. Card number one. Let's go to card number two. Oh, this is what I just cut. Sorry about that. Set that over there. Oh, and you get the envelopes to go with them too. So, just saying. And I always stop, stop, stamp my elbows, but I'm not right this moment. So, there we go. Now, the next one is a double Z fold card. Let me show you that card. I love this. Every time I make it, it's different. Well... You have three places to put um, a, uh, a sentiment if you want to. I did it here, and I used the um, pearlized enamel dots. Now, in mine, I didn't realize it, but it had gotten, it gets air, I guess. So you really got to shake it, I guess, good, because it messed up right here. But I will add a, um, I will add more right here, okay? And it did it to that one, too. So, um, and then that's that. And then it stands up, well, like that. <laughs> Let me do it this way. It stands up like that. And then you have more to either write a, a book. <laughs> you could write a book. <laughs> or you could stamp another sentiment in here. <laughs> Don't write a book. Well, some of you might want to write a book, right? Have it published. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So let's get started on that one. Um, uh oh. Oh, I know why I didn't score this because I wanted to show you what I do when I score. I figure, you know what? I might as well turn this into a teaching as well because it's going on YouTube but, um, also. So let me clear up some space. So we have something somewhere to work. Move these guys out of the way. Yikes. We'll bring them in at the end. Yes? Okay, this is our card we're working with right now. And let me grab my scoreboard. I did not write the things on here, but when you get your um, your wrong one, your cardstock, all the dimensions, everything will be on that case file. We're calling our um, a lot of people say profile sheets or whatever, or not profile, yeah, whatever they call them, the little sheets with all their instructions and stuff instruction sheets is a good one and um i don't i'm not i am trying to make all mine flow so um I have to see where it's at because I didn't write it down. Okay, now I remember. After I'm writing it. Now, the thing I do when I score, I take some um, 
well. I take some wax paper that was on here a second ago. Let me just look under here, no. Let me just look right quick, because you know, things tend to have a way of flying. I seriously do not see it. Ugh. Well, darn. I will. Honey, can you grab me some wax paper from my room? It's already cut. Mm -hmm. I had one out here. Okay. I don't know what I did with it. do not know what I do with it and I bet you it's right it's not right in front of me because I'm looking so yeah that's what I, I use to um, see if I accidentally put it in the dumpster I feel so bad this is not scored let me just show you something on the two and a half well, that worked. But normally what I do is I take a piece of wax paper and I rub it all over the, um, the cardstock that I'm scoring. And then it doesn't, it won't trip. This one felt like it was about to. I'm glad it didn't. But usually that's why I do that is because, you know, it's, it's all good. So now we want to score, uh, excuse me. We want to move this out of the way. Take our bone folder. And then bring it on back. Now this is going to act as a layer on your regular card base, yes? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to, it's a, I've, I've made this on a video before, I use the same, um, the same fold, fa uh, fancy fold, I call it. So if you can tell, it's got like about a quarter of an inch, about, all the way around, okay? I always say about, I don't say around. <laughs> But anyway, so that's what it, it'll look like. And I don't know if you noticed that on the other side, it had a little lip of the front. So I've turned it over and I'm gonna use the back side or what could be the back side. So now all I do is, now if you, have, you use whatever adhesive is what, you know, is good for you. I, again, I love using um, Tombow and I have to use my whole fist to do this because I don't, I don't have any strength in this hand. And I used to squirt it out like it was nobody's business. But now, for temporarily, temporarily, I am unable to squish it as good. So we're just gonna, hmm. Hmm. Oh. We were just going to lay it on there, but both sides are bad. I mean, not bad, but, you know, scored funny. So let's just try to redo that and fix it. Okay, it's better. Yikes. And lay this down, making sure that's open. And that's it with that. Now we're going to start layering. There's your card. There's your card base. Okay. Now you just start decorating. I happened to pick Poppy Parade. And it dawned on me that this is real red. <laughs> I should have picked real red. But it looks okay with it. So I'm going to take the Poppy Parade and I'm going to lie it down. 
on here. I have found lately that putting the um, the the this layer, excuse me, right in your face with that, right? On first and then put, putting my DSP. Other people do it differently. I just do it that way. Is this going to fit on that piece that you just lie down? So you don't have to look so hard, right? I'm going to do the other one too. Thanks. Okie dokie. Hmm. I just want it to be the same, pretty much the same all the way about, and it really does look like it. That's a first. <laughs> Usually I have to move it about. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this is a bit tricky. Oh, this is, so, look at the iridescence in that, and I'm trying not to move it about. I hope you can see that. Um, let me show you the, the designer series paper. Oh my goodness. I get a little bit of banging. This is called Snowflake 12 by 12 Specialty Specialty blah, 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 I can't pronounce that word. Vellum. That's how you pronounce it. So it has oh let me try to take this out of here without getting everything all over the place. That would be nice. That didn't work. <laughs> okay, so I've used a lot of it. Here's just with, where's that card? Here's just with the, the, the snowflakes or snowballs or whatever, you know, snowflakes, not snowflakes. And this is just, um, I can't, I, can't understand what it's called. Um, it's like felt, but it's called something else, and I can't remember what everybody says this is, but um, I don't know. And then, of course, the iridescent one that we're going to use today. And then it has snowflakes. Look at these. They have the iridescent ones. Let me get a little piece. That is so pretty. And it's iridescent, and it was so funny. I was, I had been watching videos, and, and I'm like, where are they getting the iridescent? I don't see the iridescent ones. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then there's the felt ones again. The ones like, I can't think of what it is, but it feels so good. It's, oh, my goodness. It's very loving. <laughs> Let me put this aside so that... Hopefully I won't get it all over the place. Oh, yes, I will. Had to walk away for a second to find a spot. Okay, so for our card, I chose the, um, the dot ones. But you will get... Um, everything that you need for this to make this for some reason I did not did I go too far oh and you want to make sure I didn't but you want to make sure you don't go too far into the the score mark okay I didn't but I went pretty close and that's okay now to adhere this let me show you something Okay, it's vellum, you see everything, okay? And you don't want to see your glue or your adhesive. So what you what I did was that I just put little spots. You can do these, I think, with glue dots because you know why? Um, the glue dots, if you put them in the bigger ones, it will, um, oops, see, that's going to, that's going to spread. Let me get a different one on there. Just put them on the on on some of them. You don't have to go look at how many snow things there are. 
You don't need to do all of them. I'm just going to do a few so we don't take for hours on this video. I set a time for me. Oh me, we're almost done and we're not on the third one yet. Let me hurry this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. I added some things that I wasn't going to do originally, so that's going to take time. See, now you can't see the dots at all. Well, it would help if I was straight. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Again, it doesn't have to be all over it. Just, you know, pick a few spots and it will lie down for you. And I love Tombow because Tombow is really good for to adhere. And it, it's very forgiving. I'm just picking all around, you know, kind of like that. Maybe grab one in the middle. Be straight already. Okay. And it takes a minute or two to dry. That's it. Okay, now let's work on our... Um, wait, I don't know if I could get it to stand. There we go. And I'm using basic white, um, the regular, not the heavy duty, because I've got plenty of layers on it. So I don't want to use a lot. Okay, now I put Merry Christmas on this one. But I think I'm going to put the Emmanuel God with us on it. And I'm using Evening Evergreen, whatever I did with that ink pad, which I threw over here. Since we already got it on here, right? See how nice and easy that went? I do the hold your breath, like they tell you in x-ray. <laughs> okay, you can breathe now. Oops, it's crooked. Okay, well, I'm not going to adhere this one, but I'm just, you'll get the, you get the idea, right? So, and on this one, I did the peace on earth, goodwill to men. Um, I, oh, it's right there. Duh. <laughs> oh, me. you ever have days like that? I don't know why I keep just tapping. <laughs> the ink is on there. I just kept on tapping away and down. So, there's that. And I am going, oh, I have to adhere this right, I mean, before we put the um, jumaflachis on. Technical word, you'll be um, graded at the end of the class. <laughs> you have to know what my what my weird name words are for everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, dimensionals, do they fly away? This over. I see a spot that I'm going to put this on. I'm going to close this up just like that and plop it down and then this would normally go right here but it's crooked so I am not putting that on there um, and then just oh I was going to shake this down 
and there's going to be one here. Now with these, you have to let them dry. Oopsie. So we're going to have an oval. And you, you have to really pay attention to what you're doing, okay? It's super, de super duper easy to use. I'd say that if I can do it, you can do it, but everybody says that, so, and then we release it. So that's okay that this is like that. Oval, there's, op uh, what do you call those stretchy ones? <laughs> in, in, um, the cultured or whatever you call it thing. So let's bring back the other cards that we, oh, we have one more. I'm sorry, I forgot. We have to let that one dry, so I'll show you the original that I did because it is dry. Okay, now this one, I did two of them, but you're only getting one. I did one in blue and I did one in, uh-oh, I mushed it. Well, they weren't dry yet, so oopsie. That is why you want them to dry completely. Overnight is a good idea because I did not do this overnight. So, oh, that's those. And they stand like this. Oops, well, they do. They stand just like that, and it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Here's the blue one. Now on the blue one I didn't put, oh I didn't do it on the green one. You could put a strip of the white. It's going to be the same measurement as this. So you, to, you know, put your, uh, your little signature and everything on there. So let's set these aside and let's put these together. So I scored it and now all I'm going to do is fold it on every egg. On every score line. Oopsie. <laughs> now remember, if when you order, you'll get this. I'll send you an email with um, with uh, the dimensions and everything. It's going to be called a case file. You know, kind of going with the Sherlock Holmes thing here. I love. I so love um, detective stuff. You know, mysteries. I love mysteries. That's what I love, is mysteries. So, um, yes. Now, for this one, as I drop everything, I am going to use uh, tear and tape. And because tear and tape is really, really strong, and it's just easier than to use my Tombow glue. And I usually, actually, I usually use Tombow glue all the time for anything and everything. But then there's a time when you need some tear and tape, right? And then I take my metal ruler and I use it. I, I know, it's tear and tape. It is tearing. I'm just not tearing it the other way, that's all. Okay, then I'm going to take my bone fold, folder and I just kind of want to make sure it's going to stick. Right? Take my, take your pick tool. Yikes. And then I'm going to fold this over. If you fold it over, it will lay down for you in the right place. See? Really good. Now I'll take my bow folder again, increase that, and then I'll go increase everything else again. Four. Yep. Okay. There's that. And because the seam is in the back, or right there, I'm going to put it in the back. But I'm going to put my. Seriously? Oh my goodness. Well, my goodness. Let me show you something. Apparently, I don't know where it went. Um, but in my getting things together, boy, I surely forgot. I know that I cut it for this, and I do not see it. I seriously do not see it. Hmm. Okay, well, let me show you something without adhering it, okay? So when you get your kit, you will. I will not, because I have a list, and I cut everything, and I don't know where it went. It must have fallen out. Fallen out? It, it must have fallen out when I... Uh, when I brought it in here. 
So, and, and I didn't catch it. So on this one, what you're going to do is you're going to take, um, this is the one you're getting. Uh, you're going to take your uh, vellum and you're going to adhere it to this, okay? It, it's this one that you're getting in the green, okay? Because um, for some reason I don't have the blue laying here. But anyway, so to get this, to do this part, you have these two things as the mechanisms, yeah? Yeah. When you adhere your vellum first, you know what? I just had an idea, but do it this way. <laughs> I like hiding things. I don't, you know, I, I don't like them to be seen. So I would probably adhere this now and then add my vellum to it and then you won't see it. So I am going to do that and then Somehow I will give you a picture of that. So I'm going to do it and see how it works. And if it doesn't work well, I'll tell you. When I, when I upload the, this video to YouTube. Actually, I can send a picture on, on this Facebook page so that you can see that too. Now what you want to do is make sure that you have your seam in the back. Okay, and then you put this on here. And you're going to be close to the, um, oops, I'm spilling out. Close to the, um, the score line, but not on it, okay? You don't want to be on it. Oh, and you know what? It would be a really good idea to know that it's going in the right direction. How do I? I know that I want I, you might ask well because I on the blue one I turned it by accident wasn't paying attention so how about learning from my mistake and not you not doing that because <laughs> it's not fun when you're trying to make a beautiful card and you want them straight and just on either side of that score line And of course, I can't add this yet. And see, it got smushed. So you don't want to smush yours. Just lay it out before you do it. And then it's going to go right here. That is our fourth card for today. Let me show you all the cards that we made. Except for the last two. Get this out of the way. Let me clear off this area. So you can see everything looking pretty. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a good time. Enjoyed crafting with you. It's fun. Um, I didn't see anybody come on, but that's okay. I crafted with you anyway. <laughs> okay, so here are the cards. You're going to get the envelopes. I'll lay them flat. Okay. Ooh, where's the other one? And here's the other two that I made while fooling around. This is the one I made in class. This is what you'll, well, you'll get the pieces to make this. And if your order is $35, you'll still get the um, instruction sheet because that'd be really dumb not to give you that. But if you're 50, if you're, um, orders, excuse me, $35, you will get the instruction sheet and all the pieces to make the card. You'll also get, um, if, you're, if your order is $50 or more, you will receive uh, the embellishments that we did use on these. You know, you can put the butterflies on here too. I mean, that would be really pretty. I wish I thought of that. Um, so it would be really pretty to put the butterflies on there as well. I thank you and hope you enjoyed it. Please come back next Monday. I will be on here at 6 o'clock and making three other cards from another stamp set. Bye-bye.